No, it has changed for sure. Um, I I thought that was the case, but it has changed for sure. Um, you know, as I said, in the heat of the battle, yes, you want to be competitive, but um, yeah, I've been proven wrong. The thing I said before the first test, that has certainly changed, and you won't hear me say that ever again. The most, um, you know, challenging thing for us, where teams really lose their morale once they, you know, lose a test match in India, but um, they kept bouncing back, and uh, they had the desire to compete throughout. And that's why they are the number two side in the world. You know, you expect that from Australia. Once they get a sniff, they would put you under pressure. But you know, the way we responded, I'm I'm really proud of that as well. But I would say the relentlessness in their desire to make things happen in these conditions was probably the reason why they kept giving us you know a great fight till the end of um, this test match. So a lot of credit goes to them. It's not in my control. Um, you know, I've I've heard a very wise person tell me that. When a person is down, the weak come out and speak about him. It takes courage to speak about someone when they're on top. So it's fine. I mean, um, I was targeted, you know, individually. And I hadn't done well in the series. So opportunity is galore for everyone to come out and speak about me, which is fine. Uh, when, I, when I've done well in the past, again, people have spoken about me. When I haven't done well, I obviously expect them to come out and start saying all sort of things. But very easy to sit at home and write a blog or speak behind the mic. I think that's... Um, easier than coming out and competing on the field. So 